Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Mike Brooks. Karen has the night off. Well, no charges for the driver of that truck that went through a crowd of protesters on I-244 back in May. Tulsa County District Attorney Steve Kunzweiler announcing that decision late this afternoon. Two Works for You's Katie Kelleher spoke with him about why he is not pressing charges, as well as a protester who says that he is a victim. Katie. Multiple videos show the truck going through the crowd. Inside the truck, a father, a mother, and their two school-aged children. Thursday, Tulsa County District Attorney Steve Kunzweiler saying the driver is not at fault. He says Oklahoma Highway Patrol's report did not ask for charges. From what I was able to see and review in those reports, it's, it's clear what we're looking at is that family that was in that vehicle were the victims of a crime. It was violent. It was unprovoked. Kunzweiler says the truck was following another car that protesters allowed through. However, after that car went through, the truck was blocked again. One of those people standing in front was Carmen Taylor. Taylor says they let the car through because the driver said it was an emergency, but they never communicated with the truck to let it through. At one point, he was stuck between the truck and a bicycle. All at once, he sped up really quickly. The bike got pulled under the, the driver's side of the truck, my legs going with it. Um, I remember watching both sets of tires on the truck, the front and the rear, go over my legs. Taylor says he sustained a broken right leg and two sprained ankles. He says he was also hit the previous day while protesting on I-44. Kunzweiler says it's against Oklahoma law to block a road or highway. His lengthy and detailed memo discussing his decision includes statements from the family inside, claiming the mother and children were on the floor of the truck crying as it was being hit. The, the truck is being struck by multiple projectiles. The family described what appear to be bricks. I've seen uh, allegations of skateboards being used. Um, uh, just just uh, horrendous conduct committed upon this family. And However, Taylor says violence was not the intention of the protest and that they deviated from the planned protest route to the interstate to make the march longer, get more attention, and their message heard. It's a very peaceful way of saying you will notice me, you will notice the message I'm trying to get out. Um, and our message there was like a message of justice. It was justice for black people. It was justice for victims of police brutality. Kunzweiler asks that if anyone knows those who were on the bridge being violent to contact Oklahoma Highway Patrol. Katie Kelleher, Two Works for You. Katie, thank you. There were also rumors of a horse being in the trailer and that it was injured or killed. However, Kunzweiler says that is not true. The trailer was actually empty.